Special thanks to Patreon supporter Derek Frost Rusberg for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Security Before here bringing you another Minecraft World War 2 vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Yokosuka D4Y Suse. The Yokosuka D4Y Suse, translated to Comet, also known by the alley reporting name of Judy, is a 2 c carrier-based dive bomber developed by the Yokosuka Naval Air Technical Arsenal and operated by the Imperial Japanese Navy from 1942 to 1945 during World War II. Uh, development of the aircraft began in 1938. The first D4Y-1 was completed in November of 1940 and made its maiden flight at the Yokosuka the following month. While the aircraft was originally conceived as a dive bomber, the D4Y was used in other roles including reconnaissance, knife fighter, and special attack aka kamikaze. It made its combat debut as a reconnaissance aircraft uh, in the Battle of Midway in 1942. It was not until March of 1943 that it was accepted for use as a dive bomber and the early D4Y1 and D4Y2 feature the liquid-cooled Achi uh, Atasuna engine, a licensed version of the German Daimler-Benz DB601, while the later D4Y3 and D4Y4 feature the Mitsubishi MK8P uh, Kinsei uh, radial engine. Um, so overall, a really uh, awesome aircraft. We've uh, actually did the uh, earlier variant, the uh, Y2, uh, just a little while ago, not even, probably a little over a week ago, uh, on the channel and so kind of you get a best of both worlds for this aircraft basically the two main kind of different production models um, that really kind of stand out now the main difference you're going to notice here for this version in particular is the front nose is the radial engine type design which means it's kind of that more traditional open uh, kind of design for many of the World War II aircraft instead of kind of like coming to a more pointed tip I guess you can kind of compare that to like kind of like maybe like a Spitfire uh, where the head is like that kind of pointed nose uh, which is more of what the D4Y2 ha had and then the D4Y3 here has kind of more of a um, engine front to comparable to like the F6F or something like that if that kind of helps you picture maybe a little bit better uh, what exactly the difference is between these two also I went ahead and decided for this version here to not equip it with a tail gunner so you do have the ability to kind of tell you the part a little bit better um, or you can uh, use the previous tutorial to add a tail gun into this version. So whatever you guys kind of want to do, uh, you're free to kind of go crazy with it. But uh, it is in their little Japanese uh, aircraft to add to our lineup here on the world. Um, so anyways, before we go and jump into taking a look at the build itself, I want to go and give special thanks to Patreon supporter Derek Frost Westbrook for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel more you guys already do, feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is down in the description where you can go and pledge a small amount to the channel. And uh, basically supports me and uh, the my work here, uh, making these tutorials and all that stuff. And you earn also earn a vehicle request of your choosing, depending on which tier you decide to uh, pledge to. So uh, definitely check it out. Uh, there's some pretty good benefits for it. And, uh, you know, I really look forward to maybe hopefully seeing you as a Patreon in the future. Um, again, vid uh, link to my page is always in the video descriptions. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and dive into taking a look at this uh, dive bomber and see exactly what we got going on here and all that stuff. So. Uh, you guys know what you're getting into the build. Anyways, starting off with, we have obviously the front here of the engine. As you'll notice, it kind of, basically the fuselage here just kind of cuts right here as compared to this one where it kind of has more kind of flow to it and kind of comes to that point there. So definitely a little bit of a difference um, in comparison between these two uh, aircraft regarding that kind of front nose design. Um, and that's pretty much the main takeaway between these aircraft. Anyways, behind the nose, a lot of this stuff is going to be the same. The fuselage, the wings. Um, again, we have the, you know, obviously the red dot there on the wings. Uh, the le yellow leading edge, which was kind of a common uh, type color design on the uh, Japanese aircraft. As we move to the back here, we got this uh, ringing here um, toward the tail. And the back here, as you can see, there is no tail gunner on this version. So it just kind of has the cockpit just come back here and slopes into the fuselage. And of course, the, re the uh, red dot here on the side of the aircraft, the horizontal stabilizers, vertical stabilizer, and all that fun stuff. Um, anyways, it's a really nice looking aircraft, came out really good overall, and I think will be, you know, again, a really awesome build to add to your collection. You could have a couple of these flying together, maybe some with the tail gunners, maybe some without, or maybe if you just like the version without the tail gunner, you have that ability, and maybe if you like the version with the gun, you can go and refer to that, or maybe even take that gun and add it onto this one if you like the front. So, you definitely have some playability between these two, and that's why I definitely wanted to have basically two versions here for in design with the cockpit, because you know, it kind of gives you some different playability for what you guys are going for. Um, anyways, that's it for this overview. Let's go ahead and move into the tutorial. All right, guys, going ahead and moving into our first layer. I'm going ahead and starting off with layer number two. 
Now for layer 2 to go ahead and get started with, we're going to be going ahead and uh, building this tutorial half on camera half off. Uh, what this means is that I'll be building basically the center line of the fuselage and everything on the right side um, in the tutorial and they'll be up to you guys between layers to copy it over to the air side. Um, it is really easy and once we get through the first few layers and stuff you get the hang of it it's pretty simple and straightforward also since this uh, aircraft is only the in-flight model uh, we don't have to worry about having any um, landing gear or anything like that having it is built off a certain amount from the ground so one night, good thing about this aircraft is basically this right here is almost the lowest point we do have one space block of space needed below this um, other than that as long as you have plenty of clearance uh, from anything on the ground or anything like that, or on its sides, you should have plenty of room. Anyways, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go ahead and place down a narrow brick top slab. So again, that is a top slab. And then we're going to place down two smooth quartz top slabs back from that top slab. Coming off the top slab forward, we're going to place down an iron trap door. And coming off these this quartz top slab back, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, and five iron trap doors back like that. After that, we're going to go ahead and place down two iron trap doors, coming off these two quartz blocks just like that. After that, it's done. We're going to go to this iron trap door. We're going to go and go back one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven blocks back with a winter skeleton skull here on the end of that row with seven. And again, it should be on the side of the block just like this. And we can go ahead and delete these blocks like that. Then, when that's done, we're going to be going ahead and going to our first iron trap door here, the single one. And, uh, or these two quartz stop sides are going to place an iron trap doors come up both sides. We already did that. So we're going to go ahead and go to this site, this first iron trap door right here, come off this quartz top slab. And we're going to go ahead and go one, two, three, four, five, and six spaces out to the side. So we're going to go ahead and go one, two, three, four, five, and six blocks out to the side, followed by a quartz full block here on the end. And then going back from it, we're going to place a second quartz full block and then a third one just like that. We then want to place down a quartz upside down stair and a quartz top side like that to go ahead and finish it off. Then we can just go ahead and grab ourselves some skeleton skulls. And we can delete our marker blocks here or anything like that. And we can go ahead and place down a skeleton skull coming off the front quartz block and then along the sides here of these three quartz blocks that go back like this for our drop tanks here on the sides. Now these drop tanks are optional, so if you do not want to add them, you do not have to. And also, uh, while we're at it, we can go and throw layer 1 into the mix by going ahead and going to the bottom here of these two quartz blocks up here in the front for the drop tanks and placing down iron trap doors on the bottom of them. Again, pretty straightforward there, and that right there will wrap up layers 1 and 2. Anyways, with that done, let's go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number 3. Alright guys, moving on to our next layer, we can go ahead and move on to layer number 3. For layer 3 to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a iron trap door on this iron trap door up here in the front. Going back from it, we're going to go ahead and place down a black concrete block, followed by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven quartz full blocks back. We're then going to place down one and two quartz top slabs and a quartz upside down stair like this, followed by two iron trap doors coming off that quartz upside down stair just like that. When that's done, going back up here to the front, coming off this iron trap door, we're going to have a quartz upside down stair. And then we want to go and then place down a quartz upside down corner stair coming off this stair like so. We're then going to take our green terracotta, place down two green terracotta blocks back. And we then want to go ahead and place down a quartz full block. Followed by one, two, three, four. And then uh, four upside down quartz stairs here. And then we're going to place down another upside down quartz stair like that. Uh, and that's going to be a corner stair. After that, we're going to place down one, two, and three quartz top slabs back and a iron trap door there on the ends. We're going to go ahead and go up here to this uh, quartz stair right here. And we're going to place down one iron trap door coming off of it, followed by a second one back and then a third one back like that. We then want to place down three rows of two of iron trap doors like that out to the side. And then once that's done, we're going to go ahead and just grab ourselves some diorite walls and on top of these two or the last two quartz full blocks, so right here, we're going to place down two direct walls on top of these. And then we're going to go ahead and go to the quartz full block here, place down an iron trap door on top of it. And then this upside down quartz stair, we're going to place down an iron trap door on top of that one as well. And with that all done there, that is going to wrap up what we have here for layer number uh, three. As you can see, pretty straightforward. Here's what it looks like from above so far. And again, take what we did over here on the right side and flip it over to the left side, and you'll have that layer complete. With that all done, that is going to wrap up layer number or sorry layer number three with that let's go ahead and move into layer number four all right guys going ahead and moving into our next layer we have layer number three for layer three to go ahead and get started with here uh over this iron trap door here we're going to place down a stone brick 
wall coming off that stone brick wall going forward we're gonna place down another stone brick wall just like that and then a green terracotta block on the end here with a, with a zombie head coming off the tip there just like that for that once that's done going ahead and going back from this stone brick wall toward the rear we're gonna place down a black concrete block and we're gonna go ahead and then place down three green terracotta blocks back like this now if you do want to include into interior you guys are more than willing to uh, if you remember back here for this i did include a interior slightly uh, for that one so uh kind of the same thing goes for this one uh you can go ahead and place down another brick slab here another brick block back from it so like this all right guys so after this another brick block we're gonna go ahead and then place down a stone pressure plate on the floor here we're gonna go ahead and then place down another brick block like this another brick slab stone pressure plate and then we're gonna place down one two three four and five green terracotta blocks back followed by two smooth quartz full blocks and then a quartz up sound stage should hang off the back there like so with that finished we're going to go ahead and go back up here to the front we're going to go to this black concrete block place down a block to the side followed by a green terracotta block back dark oak wood stair and then we're going to go ahead and place down one two three four five six seven eight nine green terracotta blocks back followed by one and two mossy cobblestone walls like that on the side there once that's done, going back up to the front here, we're going to place down a dark oakwood, um, dark oakwood trap door on top of that quartz stair and have it open up to the side. On the back of the trap door, we're going to place down another trap door like this and also come off that black concrete block like that. Once that's finished, uh, we're going to go and then place down a dark oakwood sign here on the side. And we also want to take stone buttons in from the previous layer. I forgot to go and take stone buttons and place them down on these three blocks. So we're just going to place down those three stone buttons like that. Um, anyways, once that's done, we're going to go ahead and now focus our attention onto the wings. Go ahead and come off this green terracotta block here. We're going to place down a birchwood stair, followed by one, two, and three green terracotta blocks back, a dark oakwood stair like this, and a dark oakwood slab right after the stair like that. Once that's done, we're going to place down a birchwood stair coming off the side here of this one, and then we're going to place down one and two green terracotta blocks back, followed by a row of one and two of spruce wood slabs. For our next row out to the side here again, another birch wood stair here on the side, followed by a green terracotta block and a dark oak wood stair like that. And then we're just going to place down two spruce wood slabs coming off those dark oak wood stairs, or that dark oak wood stair. We're going to go and do the same thing out here to the side again, except for this birch wood stair. We're going to be placing down a birch wood corner stair. So just like that. And then a green terracotta block, dark oak wood slab, and two spruce wood slabs back, just like that. Now when we get to this point here, uh, we want to go ahead and place down a uh, spruce, or sorry, a birch wood up sound stair, come off the side here of that corner stair. We're going to go ahead and then place down a smooth quartz block here, followed by a green terracotta block, and then a spruce wood slab, just like that. Again, going out to the side here, uh, we want to go ahead and place down a uh, birch wood top slab and if you're including this uh, external fuel tanks here uh, we're going to be going ahead and placing down two quartz upside down stairs um, if you are not placing down these or placing on these fuel tanks you'll just place two quartz top slabs here instead of those upside down stairs when that's done there we're going to place down a smooth quartz top slab or sorry actually a spruce wood top slab coming off the stair like so when that's done there uh, we want to go ahead and then place down a smooth quartz top slab Come off this uh, the stair or this quartz top slab right here, and then we're gonna place down a brick uh, slab that goes back from it. So brick slab like that, and actually we are gonna go ahead and move this forward one. So we're actually gonna place down a smooth quartz top slab, come off that uh, birch wood slab there, brick slab, and then a quartz top slab. So something just like that, and then this spruce wood top slab like that on the end there. Um, once that's done, uh, we're gonna go ahead and then take our brick slabs, place down one two, three, and we're going to go and leave that as is. We're going to go and then place down a smooth quartz top slab, brick top slab, smooth quartz top slab like that. We're going to place down another row of three of smooth quartz top slabs, and then one top slab coming off the middle one like that out to the side there. And uh, once you have that done, your wing should look something like this from up above here. Uh, one last final thing to add is a skeleton skull over here uh, coming off this court or in between these quartz top slabs just like that. And when that's all done there, uh, the only difference we have between the sides is over here on the left side, going ahead and go into this row with the quartz top slab, brick top slab, quartz top slab. You're going to have a row of two of end rods coming off this quartz top slab here for the wing. Um, it's kind of part of the design there, and that's going to be on the left wing, left wing only. 
Um, anyways, with that all complete, that is going to wrap up what we have here for layer number four. With that, let's move into layer number five. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number five. For layer five, to go ahead and get started with here, we go ahead and go into the front. And on top of this stone brick wall right here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood trap door. Going back from that, we're going to place down a uh, dark oak wood top slab right here. Going back, followed by a black concrete block, and then three green terracotta blocks like so. When we get to our cockpit section here, on top of this narrow brick block, we're just going to place down another brick block on top of it as well. And we're going to then place down an iron bar coming off the back of it. And that's done here on top of this narrow brick block here. We're going to place down any, another uh, another brick block on top of it. And then over this pressure plate here, we're, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak defense gate, opened up toward the back, followed by an end rod. And we're actually going to go ahead and, and then place down a dark oak defense post here on the end like that. And that would be basically the position here where your gun could be mounted um, on the aircraft itself. Or maybe it folds down or something like that. Who knows? But the, we're going to have the canopy closed for this one. So kind of just trying to show the general idea that there is a little bit more in here than what you can see. Anyways, once that's done, we're going to go ahead and then place down after the dark oak wood fence post, one, two, three, and four green terracotta blocks, and then two smooth quartz blocks here after that. When that's done, going back up to the front here, we're going to go ahead and take our dark oak wood stairs, come off the slab to the side with a dark oak wood stair, followed by one uh, more dark oak wood stair back. We're then going to place down a dark oak wood corner stair like this. And on the sides here of the corner stairs, we're going to place down a dark oak wood sign. Once that's done, we're going to place down a dark oak wood upside down stair on, over this one like so and then going back from it we're going to place down one two three four five and six green terracotta blocks followed by a dark oak wood stair and then come off the stair like this another stair save so a corner stair regular stair like that and then we're going to take our mossy cobblestone walls and place down one two and three mossy cobblestone walls along the side there like so with that done go into our tail here we're going to go, ahead and go to the first quartz full block here we're going to place down one and two quartz top steps out to the side followed by an iron trap door our next section here, we're going to place down one and two spruce wood top slabs to the side, followed by a spruce trap door, and then one and two iron trap doors like that, and that'll do it there for your horizontal stabilizers. After that, going ahead and focus our attention out of the wings, we're going to place down two dark oak wood trap doors on top of those two green terracotta blocks there next to the fuselage. We then want to take acacia buttons, and we're going to place down acacia buttons on that green terracotta block, and this one right here as well. Once that's done, uh, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves yellow carpet, red carpet, and also some green carpet. We're going to go ahead and go to our two uh, birchwood uh, blocks here, so the upside down stair and top side. We're going to place down two yellow carpets on top of them. We then want to go ahead and go to the uh, brick top slabs, and we're going to place down red carpet on top of those. And then we just want to take green carpet and on top of all of the quartz top slabs and all that fun stuff, we're going to go ahead and just take these green carpets and place them down top there to cover up the white from up above. And of course once you have that done over here on the right side you're going to copy it over to the left side and you should have something that looks just like this uh, to go ahead and complete layer number five. Anyways that's it for layer five let's go ahead and move on to our next layer layer number six. All right guys so real quick before we move on to layer six there are um, a few things I want to add on to the build real quick. Um, first being is that we do have some stone buttons to put in and this is going to be on this green terracotta block right here right before this dark oak wood corner stair and we also want to place down two stone buttons on these two smooth quartz blocks here along the side there. Anyways, once that's done, we also have the banners here, which make this uh, little red circle here on the side of the aircraft. So for this, we're going to go ahead and grab a loom, go into the loom. We're going to place down a red banner in the loom. We're going to place a green die in it. And we're going to go and start off with the bottom left, selecting that little box like this. And we're going to go and then select the top left box. So just like that, and then put our banner back in or grabbing another red banner and putting it in, we're going to go in this time and select the bottom right and then the top right. And once that's done, we can go ahead and go to uh, these two mossy cobblestone walls and we can place down the two banners like this to go ahead and make the red circle here on the side of the aircraft. And you'll have the same thing over here on this side as well, just like that. Anyways, once that's all done, uh, that will finish off layer five. And with that, we can go ahead and now move on to layer number six. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we're going to move on to layer number six. For layer six to go ahead and begin with, we're going to go ahead and go to the front of the aircraft here, and on top of these two, or this dark oak with top slab and this black concrete block, we're going to place down two green carpets. After it, we're going to place down a row of three of dark dark oak with trap doors, and then we're going to place down a light gray stained glass block, followed by one, two, three, four, and five light gray stained glass blocks back in total behind it. I'm going to go ahead and get a total count here. 
And yep, we should have six total light gray stained glass blocks here in this row. So again, we have the one right after this dark oak trapdoor and five more back behind it. We're then going to place down an air brick slab, followed by two dark oak trapdoors, skip a space, place down a mossy cobbles to wall, two green terracotta blocks, and a spruce wood uh, plank right there on the end. Once that's done, going back up to the front here, we're going to go and take our light gray stained glass panes and we're going to place down uh, one, two, three, four, and five like gray stained glass panes here along the side there. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and go to the dark oak corner stair here, place down a wither skeleton skull on top of it, and then one at a slight angle like that. Next to that narrow brick slab, just like that. And also uh, over here on the left side of the aircraft, left side only, coming off this glass pane, we're going to have an end rod and a wither skeleton skull like that for like the scope there for the pilot. With that done, uh, going ahead and moving on to our Horizontal stabilizers, we're just going to take green carpet, place down green carpet on top of the quartz top slabs and the iron trap doors, and I'll finish off your uh, horizontal stabilizers. And with that all complete, that is going to wrap up layer number six. With that, we're going to move into our last final layers, which will be layers seven, eight, and nine, where we're going to go ahead and basically put the top of the tail and uh, top of the cockpit and all that stuff on to go ahead and finish the uh, build off. Anyways, with that, let's go ahead and move into our last final layers. All right, guys, going ahead and moving into our... Uh, last final layers, we have layers 7 through 9. For these layers, to go ahead and get started with, we're going to be going ahead and going to the cockpit here, and we're going to go ahead and go to our middle, uh, or basically our second light gray stainless block. We're going to place that air brick slab on top of it, followed by one and two slabs back, just like that. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and then place down a dark grid fence post on top of this light gray stainless block here, and we're going to go ahead and then place down a second fence post on top of it. Going back from the fence post, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, and six barrier blocks. And on top of these barrier blocks, we're gonna place down one, two, three, four, five, and six stone buttons like that. Um, on that for basically the cable here, you can also go ahead and instead of the barrier blocks, place down iron bars. That'll work as well, but if you have access to barrier blocks and the stone button technique, it works the best for this situation. Uh, once that's done, we're gonna then place down two green terracotta blocks here, followed by a mossy cobblestone wall on the end. And on both sides of this second green terracotta block, we're going to place down a stone button. Going up from it, we're on top of this green terracotta block, we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall, green terracotta block back from it, and an air mossy cobblestone wall up like that. And then again, a stone button here on both sides of this green terracotta block. And then lastly, on top of the green terracotta block, we're just going to place down a, a dark liquid slab on top of it, just like that. And once that's all uh, complete there, that will wrap up our tail and our layers there. We're going to go ahead and uh, now cover our rotors, which um, if you, or propellers, um, I should say, if you've ever done these before, um, or <laughs> done kind of one of my tutorials before, uh, you probably have seen these propeller designs. Pretty simple. Uh, but basically to start off with, we're going to go ahead and go to our stone brick wall. We're going to place down one, two, narrow brick slabs out to the side, and a birchwood top slab, just like that. We're going to go ahead and then go up from this uh, stone brick wall to the side. So on the opposite side, a narrow brick stair. We're going to go ahead and then go up another narrow brick stair. And then a birchwood slab like that. So this is what we have so far here for the front propellers. And after that, on the bottom here, we're going to go ahead and go to this stone brick wall, place down a narrow brick stair. Go down from it, place down a stone brick, narrow brick stair like that. And then a... Uh, what is going to be a birchwood upside down stair here on the bottom. And once you have that done, you have your propellers designed here for the front. You have layers 7 and 9 complete. And with that, you have your aircraft complete, the Yokosuka D4Y2 Judy. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are able to put it together and enjoy it on your worlds. If you do end up using it, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for this main thing from the side of the build to link to my channel or this video if this does appear social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for the build, that's all I ask for when doing these tutorials. It helps my channel grow and it continues to keep me inspired to keep on posting these types of videos. So as long as you guys give me credit for your free use of every project you guys are working on. And that, again, a big special thanks to Patreon supporter uh, Derek Foss Westbrook. And uh, as always, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is down in the description. And that, uh, thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary 204, and I'll see you guys next time.